Hey everybody, this is Charlie. And I'm Scott. And you're watching Loudwire. Um, this says airports. We were in one just this morning. When we first started uh, touring in the band, you'd actually wear suits, people dressed up nice in airports back in you know, the 1940s. You could carry Men wore hats. You could bring water. Smoke <laughs> on a plane. Nowadays, everyone's in flip-flops. Your fucking feet are disgusting, people. Put on shoes. Wow, Norman Reedus. Oh, cool. He plays my least favorite character on The uh, Walking Dead. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love Daryl. Daryl's He's killer, man, literally. Um, the way his character has evolved in the show, I think, uh, because the fans wanted him more and more. But he, he's good, he's a good you know, sidekick to Rick. It's not better than the original, but I did like that, um, the remake of Dawn of the Dead. It was, I, it was definitely entertaining, but it, it's not better by any means. The way I look at what they call country now, like that pop country, it's the same as the hair metal bands in the 80s. Like, or boy bands, even more like that even. Because it's not real country music. I don't know how they get away with using the same chord progression for every song. It's the same exact thing, every song. Old school country music is way better. It's more from the heart. Yeah, I mean, I listen to a lot of Johnny Cash. I listen to Merle Haggard. I listen to Hank Williams from the first. Uh, you know, I'm in the I'm in the old school country music. Some of some of the lyrics to that stuff is harder, more brutal, more evil than anything metal bands write about because it's real life. Snakes. Snakes. <laughs> they scare me. Oh, Breaking Bad. Never saw it. <laughs> Great. I I'll go I'll go out on a limb and say the best written TV show of all time. I've basically been on strike as a Yankee fan pretty much since A-Rod's been on the team. I'm not a fan. I hated him in Texas. I hated him in Seattle. I never thought he should have been on the Yankees. Of course, uh, he's a cheater. Proven. Uh, I've, I've been proved right all these years. And I, I will even go so far to say that um, the Yankees should give back their 09 rings because it's a fluke. Mr. October that year. Mm, I wonder why. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. The only thing that could have made Jeter's retirement even better is if Jeter would have said, and by the way, I'm giving back my own nine ring because that one doesn't count. I'll just keep all the other ones that we earned. Um, yeah, I don't watch games. I don't follow them anymore as long as he's on the team. Um, I will be watching. See you in a couple more years. <laughs>